Are you curious about the journey an egg takes after it becomes fertilized? What about the role hormones play in successful implantation? Hi, I'm Dr. Sherazad, and in this video we'll be learning what egg implantation is, what symptoms to expect when it occurs, and how to determine if you are experiencing implantation issues. When you have intercourse with your partner during your fertile window, there is a chance that sperm will swim their way into the fallopian tube where an egg is present. But even if an egg is fertilized, pregnancy is not 100% guaranteed. That's because the fertilized egg has to descend into and attach to the lining of the uterus. This process is called implantation. In other words, even if an egg is fertilized by sperm, if it does not implant into the lining of your uterus, you won't become pregnant. Let's take a closer look. During ovulation, the egg is released from a fluid-filled sac called the follicle. The egg descends down the fallopian tube while the sac it came from the follicle becomes a structure called the corpus luteum. This corpus luteum starts producing progesterone which thickens the lining of your uterus for a possible pregnancy. Around five to seven days after ovulation, the fertilized egg will begin to implant itself onto this thickened uterine wall. As the embryo implants into the uterine wall, it gently breaks the surface blood vessels where it attaches. This rupture of a small amount of blood vessels during implantation gives you the first sign of implantation, light bleeding or spotting. Some women may also experience slight pain when the blood vessels rupture. Implantation bleeding usually occurs seven to 10 days after ovulation. It differs from your period in that that bleeding is very light, typically just a few drops and sometimes cannot be noticed at all. Now let's talk about progesterone, a vital hormone in the conception process. After ovulation, progesterone rises gradually. If an egg implants itself into the uterine wall, the embryo releases HCG, the hormone that pregnancy tests measure. HCG causes a steep rise in progesterone levels. Women often experience some symptoms from the rise in progesterone after ovulation. But if implantation occurs, the steeper rise in progesterone can cause more intense symptoms. These can include breast tenderness and enlargement, nausea or sensitivity to certain smells, changes in appetite or feeling disgusted by certain foods, bowel changes like constipation and bloating, fatigue, headaches, and mood changes. These symptoms can be difficult to distinguish from typical post-ovulation symptoms. And of course, some women don't have any symptoms at all. So relying on symptoms alone is not a reliable way to detect implantation. So how can we track progesterone levels? For pregnancy to happen, you need successful ovulation to occur, the egg meeting the sperm, and progesterone levels to rise and remain elevated for long enough after ovulation. Studies show that a level lower than 7.9 nanograms per milliliter in blood, which is roughly around 10 micrograms per milliliter PDG in urine, six to eight days after ovulation is associated with lower pregnancy outcomes. That's where an ETO comes in. Unlike other fertility trackers that measure just one or two hormones and just say yes or no, Anito is a one-of-a-kind fertility monitor that helps you track all four key fertility hormones at home in less than 10 minutes. With Anito, you can find accurate values of FSH, estrogen, both alpha LH and beta LH, and progesterone metabolite PDG, which tells you if and when you have ovulated. Inito tells you when to test so you stay updated about your fertile window and maximize your chances of conception by trying to conceive when you hit peak fertility. Check in with your hormone levels anytime and track your cycle trends with detailed charts and numbers. You can share your results with medical experts or nutritionists to track your progress and tick off your health goals. Progesterone levels rise after ovulation and should stay elevated six to eight days post ovulation. If progesterone levels rise to an adequate level yet drop too soon, it can lead to a shortened luteal phase, which can cause conception issues. Now you know how a fertilized egg becomes implanted in the wall of the uterus, what symptoms to expect during implantation, and how to track progesterone levels to detect successful implantation. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Dr. Sherazad, and on behalf of Team Anito, I wish you luck on your conception journey. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe for future videos about fertility.